Breaking news! Sa wakas, tinapos na ang usapan. Well done, Mr. President! Pangulong Bongbong Marcos, viral matapos ang kanyang nakakagimbal na anunsyo ngayong araw. Yes mga kababayan, you got it right. Paano ba naman kasi? Pinirmahan lang naman ngayong araw ni PBBM ang isang batas na tiyak na magpapabago ng buhay ng madami nating mga kababayan. At ito ang malupit mga kababayan. Dahil sa tagal-tagal ng panahon ang lumipas, iba't ibang leader na ang dumaan, tanging si PBBM lamang ang bukod tanging nakaisip nito na dapat nang tapusin para wala ng Pilipino ang nabibiktima pa at mabibigyang hustisya na ang mga gumagawa nito sa bansa. Ang tanong mga kababayan, gaano ba kabisa ang batas na ito? At sino ang makikinabang dito? Gaano ba ito kaimportante sa pang-araw-araw na buhay ng bawat Pilipino? Kaya naman mga kababayan, huwag na natin itong patagalin pa. Samahan niyo ko at sabay-sabay nating alamin ang maiinit na balita sa araw na ito. Just in! Nilagdaan ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ngayong araw, September 26, 2024, ang Republic Act No. 12022 o kilala bilang Anti-Agricultural Economic Sabotage Act sa isang seremonya sa Kalayahan Hall sa Palasyo ng Malacanang. Ang bagong batas na ito ay naglalayong palakasin ang sektor ng agrikultura sa bansa sa pamamagitan ng pagharap sa mga iligal na aktibidad na nakakapaggambala sa supply ng pagkain at nagpapataas ng presyo. Sa partikular, tinukoy ni PBBM na ang batas ng mga krimen na kaugnay sa pang-agrikulturang pananabotahe, kabilang na dito ang smuggling, hoarding, profiteering at cartel operations na nakakaapekto sa availability at affordability ng pagkain sa bansa. Higit pa rito, ang Republic Act No. 12022 ay naglalayong gawing mas madaling makakuha at abot kaya ang mga pagkain para sa Pilipino habang pinapataas ang mga pagkakataon sa kita para sa mga lokal na magsasaka at mangingisda. Ipinawawalang bisa ng batas ang Republic Act No. 10845 o ang Anti-Agricultural Smuggling Act of 2016 na pinapalitan ito ng mas komprehensibong mekanismo upang tiyak na mas mahigpit na magpapatupad at mas mahusay na pagpapatupad sa batas na ito. Sa huli, ang batas na ito ay umaayon sa mas malawak na pangako ng Administrasyong Marcos sa pagkamit ng siguridad sa pagkain at pagsuporta sa sektor ng agrikultura na mananatiling mahalagang haligi ng ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. Thank you very much, uh, Executive Secretary Chief Luca Bersamin. Please, uh, please uh, be seated. Senator... Senate President uh, Senator Fran Francisco Chisa Scudero and members of the uh, the honorable members of the Senate House Speaker uh, Ferdinand uh, Martin Romaldes and the members of the House of Representatives um, Agriculture Secretary uh, Kiko Tiu Laurel Jr and other cabinet secretaries who are here with us this afternoon our key development partners and stakeholders in the agriculture, fisheries, tobacco, and other industries. Fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. We pride ourselves on hard work, resilience, and the rich bounty from our lands and our seas. Yet for too long, our agricultural workers have been exploited, not necessarily just by foreign foes, but by shadowy figures operating in the very markets that we trust. Well, enough is enough. Today, we come together not merely to protect, but to uplift the very hands that cultivate our fields and that fish our waters. As we embark on the pivotal journey of enacting the Anti-Agricultural Economic Sabotage Act, this would not have been possible without our legislators who, whose determination has fortified the backbone of our economy, our farmers, our fishers, and every Filipino who reaps the fruits of their labor. To those who seek to sow chaos in the fertile fields and waters that sustain us, the hand of justice will swiftly and decisively find you. Economic sabotage in agriculture is not simply a tale of dubious deals and inflated profits. It manifests as well as hunger, desperation, as betrayal. 
Let us then acknowledge the gravity of the situation. These crimes threaten not only our economy, but our national security as well. It jeopardizes the livelihood of hard-working Filipino farmers and fisherfolk, and it threatens the food sustainability of our communities. In 2023 alone, we lost over 3 billion pesos for, to agricultural smuggling, a staggering amount. And in less than nine months this year, we have seized over 230 million peso worth of smuggled agricultural products. Every sack of smuggled rice, every under-the-table onion deal, every substandard meat sneaking past the quarantine checks, these are not just numbers. They represent lives, families, and futures that are being compromised. So let us not ignore the cartels, the organized crime syndicates that manipulate prices and control supplies. They have names, they have networks, and they are operating right under our noses. But today marks a turning point. The passage of the Anti-Agricultural Economic Sabotage Act will set in motion transformative outcomes. It is a proactive measure to prevent the entry of smuggled agricultural products, ensuring that the correct duties and taxes are paid while imposing higher penalties on violators. This law shapes a stronger, more resilient agricultural sector that defends both our farmers and our consumers. It also safeguards the public health, public health by preventing the consumption or industrial processing of agricultural products that lack the necessary sanitary and phytosanitary permits. It ensures that what ends up on the tables of every Filipino family are safe and of the highest quality. Under this law, smuggling, hoarding, profiteering, and cartel operations involving agricultural and fishery products will now be classified as economic sabotage, a non-bailable offense punishable by life imprisonment and fines up to five times the value of the goods involved. And let me, let me be clear, this law does not just target the masterminds. It holds all accomplices accountable, financiers, brokers, employees, even transporters. We are establishing the Anti-Agricultural Economic Sabotage Council, which I will chair, alongside the Secretaries of Agriculture, Finance, Transportation, Trade and Industry, and Interior and Local Government, and Justice, and other key officials. We will enforce the law and ensure that swift and decisive action is taken against anyone who dares to sabotage our agricultural sector. <laughs> Together with that, we are also creating an anti-agricultural economic sabotage enforcement group dedicated to dismantling smuggling operation and apprehending offenders. This law provides for the development of a special team of prosecutors nationwide to expedite cases related to agricultural sabotage. No longer will these cases gather dust. They will be prioritized and they will be resolved urgently. We will confront and dismantle the powerful forces that have long exploited our system for their own gain, ensuring that justice prevails and the dignity of our agricultural sector is upheld. No more backdoors, no more shortcuts, and certainly no more turning a blind eye in Bagong Pilipinas. <laughs> By eliminating smuggling, hoarding, profiteering, and other cartel activities, we are not only shielding our local producers, but also providing consumers with affordable agricultural and fishery products. This law is not just another policy. It is your battle cry. I urge each of you to be vigilant, to report wrongdoing, and to hold accountable those who seek to undermine our nation. The food security of our country, the stability of prices, and the dignity of our farmers depends on us all. This law is clearly a clarion call to restore trust in our institutions and reinvigorate faith in our justice system. As we pave the path with integrity and dedication, let us envision a Philippines where our farmers flourish, 
Our markets are filled with produce, locally sourced. No parent has to worry about feeding their children because of spiraling food prices. Let us stand resolute in this commitment, for together we shall cultivate not only the land, but the future of our beloved nation. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat.